My beloved, my name is I Am, and I am the voice of God. I am the Ancient of Day. What is the fixation? Why does the fixation exist? Why must I chase the cat? You see, my beloved, everything that doth appear was ordained of God. It is it. Islam. Islam is knowledge of what it is. It's not what you see displayed in, in orthodox Islam. You see, that's a man-made construct. Orthodox Christianity, that's a man-made construct. But yet both of these books have truth within them. This is what we must overstand and seize and grasp and hold on to and meditate and become one with the truth. But what is this fixation with the woman's ass? Why is it that I just cannot shake my desire for a woman's ass? I remember when I was a young man, Maybe third grade, somewhere around that, third, fifth grade, somewhere around that. This young lady, she was very mature for her age. And I have yet to see another woman. Perhaps I have glanced at it, but I'm talking about in actuality right there in front of your face. This young lady had ass cleavage. Did you hear what I said? Now, you know, you, most women's ass cheeks touch. You know, most people's ass cheeks touch. And this wasn't no Slim Jim. This was a thick sister with ass cleavage. And I'm telling you, man, I just couldn't take my eye off that. And she was always had that ass jacked up some kind of way, you know. Standing in a chair, bent over some... Uh, and, and I'm telling you, it looked like my eye would just hone in on this ass. Now, I'm a young man now. We're talking about elementary school, and, and I've been an ass connoisseur all my life, all my day. And I was blessed, amen, to have a mother with a huge ass. That's a, and so my first love, amen, was a big-ass one. Do you hear me? I mean, I ain't talking about no boot. I mean an ass. Yes, sir. Uh, how many ass men out there? Don't be ashamed. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> now, you got a few strange cats that say they all about the breast. And you can have a good time with the breast, too. Now, you can. Putting together and going up in there to the Holy of Holies. Yes, you can. You know, you just got to get creative there. And a lot of women appreciate that, amen. I know I do. But anyway, what is this obsession? You see, you got to ask God the right question. Now, there's ass above and there's ass below. And for some reason, I'm, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get deep into this subject here. I mean, it, it's already explicit enough. You know, I did one on the golden fathers and so on and so on. And maybe y'all think perhaps I'm going off the the deep end. <laughs> I ain't going off deep end at all. I said there's ass, a s s above. And there's ass below. Now, I don't have to ask the ass man what you're going to do with all that ass. I don't have to ask you that. 
I sure don't. Now, ladies, don't be offended because women love ass too. Yes, they do. You see them and fine woman walk by. She might beat you looking at. Yes, yes. There's something about this ass around here, you see. And we've gone ass crazy, you know, men design other men's ass and women design other women's ass. But there's a fixation with ass in the black community. Now, have you asked God? <laughs> Why is it? You see, everything God created bears his sin. And it's there for a reason. Now, when you get off in the sin, S-I-N, rather than S-I-N-E, see, if you in the S-I-N-E, then you in the harmonious flow and rhythm and vibration of God. Yes, you are. But when you get off in the S-I-N, you see, you done got off the tried and true path. And you have you have gotten off into idolatry. That that's what it boils down to. It, it's manifested all kinds of ways. Idolatry. You see, it, it's not just it, and it's carnal. You know, it, it, it's of the flesh, but it's spiritual as well. You see. You see, there, there's S I N of the mind <laughs> and S I N of the body. You know, the physical. Carrying out of the scene. Now, some of us think that we are practicing spirituality, and we are, but we're practicing it in the, the sin love rather than the S I N E love. See, once you get off into the S I N E love, then you know what the will of God is, you see. And what you ask of Him, you have it. Because you know he hears. Amen. There's that correspondence. Principle number two taking place. And all to bring about principle number three and four. My beloved. See, so don't, don't ever separate yourself from them principles. Now, you need to ask God. Why all this ass? You see, you need to spiritualize, amen, this addiction to ass. What is this addiction? Ass addiction. Oh, I battled ass addiction all my damn life. I'm done. Just addicted to ass. Just an ass worshiper. You, you, you know what I'm saying? But listen, people. Set your affection on that ass above. There's an ass above, my beloved. And you ask God why that ass is there. So I've already covered it, to tell you the truth, another post of mine. But you need to understand why God created and gave a woman such a magnificent ass. And why is it at this time that just seems to be an explosion of ass? I mean, but it's inordinate. It, it's man, you know how it's manifesting itself. I, I, I ain't trying to go off into that. But there's a reason. There's a reason, my beloved. Now, once you are fully mature, you see, when your dick is able to stand up all nine inches or more, you see. You see, the 144,000, that's nine, you see. You see, it, take, it, it, it takes, I think, 90 days for sperm to mature. And then they run that race. Do you hear? Do, do you hear what I'm saying? So you got to stand up. In a seemingly great and mighty arm, and what do you come to do? Good God of man, you must penetrate that ass. Yes, you do. You see, because that ass is able to yield, amen, unto you. Yes, it will. And if you know how to stroke it in the right S I N E, did you hear what I'm saying, T? Guess what? Divine manifestation. 
Yes, it is. Now you, now you, now you may say, "Well, this nigga here done lost his man. He done gone off the fucking deep end." You better go with him. My name is I am, and I am the voice of God. <laughs>